obviously is uh, for most people, you know, who grew up on the East Coast, that's one of the you right. know, more bigger venues. But um, I don't think uh, our team, we usually play well in there. Uh, we feel a lot comfortable. Um, I think it'll help the young guys get comfortable to be in there uh, close to the biggest tournament. Talking about payback, I mean, they were obviously to, able to get you on point four. How important is it for you guys to kind of close it out right here? Um, every game is important for us right now. And, um, you know, we're just trying to approach uh, every game how, how we have been, you know, coming down the stretch. Uh, just trying to stay on the right side of that win column. Is the hallmark of a good team, like, you know, you lose them the first time, you learn from it, and you win the next time, you think? Could or, you repeat that? You know, the hallmark of a good team, you lose to these guys the first time, but then you come back and get them the second time. I mean, you guys have been on a pretty good roll in terms of you lost to Butler, Xavier, and you guys got them the second time. I mean, uh, every game, you know, we watch film, we learn from every game, you know, our mistakes, because there's a possibility you always see somebody in the Big East tournament. So, I mean, definitely we, we learn from the last game. And um, our coach is going to give us a game plan to fix those mistakes that we had. It's got to help us to limit our mistakes, and uh, we just want to try to capitalize off of their mistakes. What did you can do, Kyron, to, to slow them down offensively? Because obviously last time they put up a lot of points against you guys. Um, I think we, we didn't pay attention to details last time. Um, pretty much our coaches told us what they were going to do, and uh, I don't think we paid attention enough, and we let them get to exactly what the coaches told us they were going to do. Uh, last time you were at MSG, you guys were picked to finish ninth in the Big East, right? The media day. What do you think they got wrong about your team? Um, I don't know what they got wrong. I don't know what they thought. Uh, I just tried to, like I said at the beginning of the year, we control what we can control, you know. Uh, we can't control what other people say about us, but we can't control what happens on the court. So that's just how we look at it. Sort of going off what Brendan said, um, you know, first time around, you know, you had a couple of tough losses, some of these teams. Second time around, you've beaten Butler, you've beaten Craig, you've beaten Xavier. Um, to come back and, and beat St. John's, I mean, Coach always talks about not getting swept by a team. Um, you know, how important that is that for you guys, just to to show the improvement that you've shown this season? I think it's very important. You know, um, our guys have gotten a lot better, especially the young guys. Um, you know, they brought it to their roles just like everybody else has, and uh, they're starting to figure it out, be a lot comfortable on that court. And I think it's showing up with every last game that we have played. Um, you know, they've been doing big time. Like Khalif has been good on, on the boards for us. Alpha has been a uh, big energy guy for us. Malik has been a big energy guy as well for us. And uh, I think it's helping us a lot. Do you notice when the calendar turns to March? Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, March is one of the biggest times for college basketball in the year. A lot of crazy stuff always happens in March. Kyron, the fans have been really uh, great supporting you this year. But how do the players feel about the fans this year? fans yeah um fans have been really good you know uh, we're really thankful for all the people who came out to the dunk this uh, past year you know a lot of times their energy has gotten us through a lot of those games and we just want to say thank you to all the people who came out this year and supported us